From Genesis to Revelation, Abraham to John on the Isle of Patmos, we hear that commandment given over and over, fear not. That command was given to Abraham. That command was given to Israel. That command was given to Moses. It was given to David who ran from Saul for years, who lived in caves before he became a king. That command was given to Daniel who was going into the lion's den. That command was given to the city of Jerusalem, to Peter who was sinking in the swirling tide of the Sea of Galilee, to Paul who had been on a ship for 14 days and it looked like all would be lost. The angel of the Lord appeared and said, Fear not, fear not, fear not. 365 times the Bible says fear not. That's a fear not for every day of the year. Fear paralyzes. It makes you spiritually immobile. Fear produces pain when there is no hurt. Fear binds without cords. Fear hinders what hell can't halt. Fear binds your friend and looses your enemy. What faith does to God, fear does to the devil. Fear sees obstacles, not opportunities. Fear is a magnet to call in everything opposite of what God wants to do in your life. That's why Job said, the thing that I feared the most has come upon me. When you enter into a life of fear, you attract the thing that you hate. That God says over and over, fear not, for I am with you. Remember, we're not talking about not having the feeling of fear. We're talking about not letting it stop you. We can't live our lives in fear and dread of what's going on and what's going to happen. Satan wants us to shrink back in fear and live little, tiny, useless lives. But God wants us to be brave and bold.